Got a catchable Pokemon fans. Welcome to another Playscape Games video. And today we're very hyped. It's the wonderful time of the week, Pokey Post. We're going to be opening up a bunch of epic mail and awesome things, including this wonderful Sobble on the Ball promo card, special art cards, and all sorts of other things. So please remember, if you enjoy the video, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below. And yes, what have you received in the mail today? I'd love to know what you've been getting and you know the cards you've been getting in the Pokey Post. So Yes, without further ado, let's get into those cards. Gotta catch them all. And here is this week's Pokey Post. It's an absolutely stacked Pokemon Post Mail Week day thing. Um, there's so much to get through, guys. Oh my goodness. There's stuff over here. There's mail over here. And then at the end of the video, we're also going to be opening three booster packs that we came, that an extra booster packs that we got from one of the Eevee Evolution tins that we still have on our website, playsketgames.com. Um, so we're going to start off, we'll start off with the mail here because there's quite a bit of it and yeah, so we just, we just get to get cracking. You know what Pokey Post is about. So thank you PokeyKid84. I can't remember um, whatever you sent me being late, but thank you for the little message and um, just a nice uh, Leafy on VMAX and Crystal Cave. So annoyingly, I might have purchased a few too many Leafy on VMAXs thinking that it was going to be the strongest deck, but then... Um, <laughs> Jolteon VMAX got really strong, so I probably should have bought more Jolteons, but Leafeon is still a very good deck. It's probably the best grass deck if you want to, you know, play a grass deck. And, uh, yeah, so let's try and let's try and crack through this. We also got a whole bunch of Japanese Mail Day, huge bit of post over here, some single cards. Um, in fact, I probably should have gone through the single cards first, because I think the single cards will have the, sort of like the token kind of new card. Oh my goodness, guys. Da, da 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 So this might have been part of the Japanese mail day, but it might have just accidentally found its way into the into the other one. Can I get this out without causing too much chaos? I'm not going to do it now, but oh my goodness. So this is the special art Neuvern V, and unlike a lot of the English ones, it's gonna be well centered and like good quality because it's the Japanese one. And yeah, they got it in this nice little, you know, cardboard flap thing. So yeah, very happy to see this. I'm a huge fan of obviously Mitsuhiro Rita, the artist, does the original Charizard art and a whole bunch of other things. It's just like Batman, it's just it's got everything going for it. I have no idea like how he decided to do this, but it was this is just one of his triumphs of recent years, like maybe since like some of the tag team cards, like the original I like Charizard tag team, restaurant Charizard tag team. But yeah, this is an absolute beauty. This is probably gonna be like one of the highlights of the video, but there's so many more cards to get through. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, unfortunately I can't show you a bit better because it's got a lot of tape and I don't want to, you know, tape, rush it by taping it and stuff. So we got some reverse hollows, a bunch of this other stuff would be like card markets. I think these are freebies that the lovely man chucked in. So some nice Charmanders, Charmeleon, some more Flareons, a nice Celebi V. But it was all about the chunky Pikachu V Max. So Vivid Voltage, um, as far as we're aware, had its last print run like two months ago, a couple of months ago. And I haven't been told if there's any going to be any more Vivid Voltage. And um, I saw a Pikachu VMAX deck actually online, you know, <laughs> Pikachu uh, VMAX deck online actually getting some, like, placements in some of the tournaments. So I was like, yeah, I need to buy Pikachu VMAXs. I don't currently have, like, a playset just in case I need to play it in a real tournament. Because you all know, and I all know, that Pikachu is my number one favourite Pokemon. So there'll be some few Tapu Coco Vs in there. And um, thank you to the lovely... Um, Celadon cards for that one. So Tapu Koko V Max is also another decent electric deck. Um, it's got um, lots of support with the electrode from Vivid Voltage as well. So you can power up your Coco V Max by knocking out one of your electrodes, put a bunch of energies on it, and then your your opponent's then got a, takes a prize card because you have to knock out the electrode to get the extra energies out, and then you can paralyze and do 180 damage. Here we go. So. With, with this very Pokemon, actually. So, yeah, you knock out the Electro and you get two energy cards out of your deck and you put them on um, two of your, you know, you put them on your, on your Pokemon, electric Pokemon. So it's really good. And then you can just, like, you can then use the, the Coco VMAX to paralyze them. So I didn't have any of these electrodes, so I had to buy a whole bunch of these Electros just in case. So, oh my goodness, guys, we're actually opening up the entirety of the deck. I must have got excited about it. So then you see, use the Electrode, Max Shock, 180 damage, and then you paralyze, you get guaranteed paralysis on your opponent's Pokemon, um, just because um, they would have taken a prize card when you knocked out the Electrode. So it seems really strong. And then also, you know, after you have them take the prize card, you can then also obviously like Marnie them and then you know they got like five six cards in their hand you can then Marnie them down to four which is also seems really good and put path to the peak down you're laughing oh my goodness paralyzed path to the peak Marnie oh my goodness they, they would be so sad if you did that so here we got some more beautiful cards um 
from uh, someone. Let's have a look. Who are these? I think I must have purchased these again on eBay or part of a job lot. Um, yeah, let's see what we got here. Obviously, you saw the Dragonite. We've got a nice Umbreon, Sylveon. Umbreon and Sylveon VMAX seen a lot of play now as well. More Flaffies. Reggie Drago, very good. Um, sort of like single prize deck. And two beautiful full art cards. And it's really nice to see this Dragonite V. This might actually be the lovely Security Daz. So shout out to Security Daz. I think he it was him that provided these cards. Um, sold me these cards. And the Dragonite V actually looks to be in really good condition. Like well centred. Because normally um, there's a lot of centering issues with um, Chilling Rain and Evolving Skies. So very happy to see two very... Very purity cards. I'm gonna put the Dragonite there because that's also like right next, right up there with the beautiful, you know, the beautiful tag team cards. Let me get the about the glare. There we go. Beautiful tag team. Sorry, the Northern V. So more eBay the purchases, just random things, picking up off eBay trainer cards. The real nice stuff is in the Japanese Mail Day later, and some of the single other things that I haven't gotten out yet. So I think it's just that this will just be a bunch of trainer cards. Thank you so much to the lovely um card market chris for <laughs> for for that oh and here we go we got the lovely lindy so um one of my lovely pokemon friends um she gets stuff for me i was wondering what lindy sent me oh my goodness and there's a little growler sticker on the front near my address as well so let's let's see what it says here oh <laughs> happy new home oh my goodness oh what's this what's this very important patron. Oh, she, I, so I was part of Lindy's patron, and she gave me like a um, like a little a little like membership card. That's awesome, and a little magic harp there. Thank you so much, Lindy. Um, uh, oh, there's a little. Um, yeah, I'm going to just show you the front. I'm going to show you what the inside of the card says because I'm going to read read that myself. It's very nice. Um, but thank you so much, Lindy. That that is awesome. That's very very kind of you. Um, I wish I was um, at like, this house for a bit longer, but I need to move soon, I think, sooner than later, because, I don't know, I mean, I'm renting, I, I want to own my own house, I don't want to keep renting, renting's annoying, so, thank you so much for the car, that is awesome, and I love that little VIP sort of pass card as well, so what do we have here, so, okay, so this is like an invoice, um, I think these are just a bunch of cards, again, from a uh, card market, so someone's doing, like, a really good deal on so normally people will pay like a pound for bulk v cards sometimes like 80p for bulk v cards on card market sometimes you can find sellers that just want to have their cards be the cheapest so then they'll be you'll be able to get them at like a much better price and like i think i paid like 30 40 pence for this clarion demand v i can't remember obviously i have to pay postage as well but yeah there's a bunch of useful cards here like the crowbats are really good in decks um some decent decent tournament cards um, yeah, just have a quick look through here. The single strike Urshifu VMAX has seen a lot of play with Umbreon VMAX, another Crobat. Beautiful Jirachi, amazing rare. We're going to see a few more of those later. Aegis, like, Aegis Slash, I think, was like a pound as well for the VMAX. Like, just crazy, like, really good prices. It was. I think I just wanted this Pikachu VMAX the most, but then I saw he had a bunch of other cards. And if you're on card market, um, you can, um, you know, make multiple purchases from the same seller and save on shipping, which is really good. And this, my friends, is how you package cards. Top loader, soft sleeves, and team bags. No tape. I hate tape. Do not, if you're sending me cards, please try and avoid tape. So thank you very much to that lovely man for, for or that lovely person for all of those, for all of those wonderful cards. Uh, right, so next I'm going to show you some single stuff before we get into the beautiful Japanese things. So, um, some parcels that I had to open uh, earlier in the week. So we got here some more Coco V Maxes, uh, Vicavolt Vs because my friend bought a bunch of them and I just needed some more just in case. <laughs> Delmise V Max, more Coco Vs. I went a bit overboard on the Coco Vs because I didn't realise I had a bunch already. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is the um, the big, big and exciting new one. Let's see if we can find. We'll go with um, this one. So this is the Sobble on the Ball promo. So this is the last of the store promos from the Pokemon Futsal campaign. Um, let's take it out there Boop, and show you the beautiful cards. So as you can see there, um, Sobble is the goalkeeper. So for those that haven't seen my previous Poke posts, um, you can see there, Pokemon, just right and see we can focus on the logo. You can see a tiny little England badge, Football for All, Pokemon Futsal. Um, and this is the last one that game in the UK, the store, the, the gaming store will be, um, video game store will be giving out as part of their campaign. So you spend £15 on Pokemon cards or in some cases they're even allow you to buy plushes and stuff now because they run out of cards um, at most of the stores. 
and you get this beautiful sobble on the ball ex exclusive to England not you know UK or anywhere or Europe like just England only places you can get these on the ball cards so hopefully at some point in the near future we can get the Pikachu which will be distributed differently that'll be sent directly to the to the um to some of the futsal clubs we'll be you know we'll we'll do that um you know we're going to do that in the future we're going to um um we're going to sorry what we're going to say we're going to get the Pikachu and then we'll show all five of them together and we'll talk a bit more about the, the collection but we're very happy to get the Sobble on the ball finally at last and uh, yeah so now um we are going to um show you some more Japanese things so th this is a bunch of stuff from a Japanese website and um, once again you can go to my Patreon join my Patreon and, and look at the how to buy cards from Japan video and it gives you like all of the run through of how you need to buy stuff directly from Japan, your own Japanese mailing address, and um, using Yahoo auctions, searching for certain cards, and all sorts. It's very useful. So a bunch more Eevee Heroes stuff. Um, they had really good prices on some, like you know, some cards like Japanese Rayquaza and things. The tag team, beautiful tag team like Mew and Mewtwo. These um, Pikachu promos only from the you know the, the campaign, the Pika Pika campaigns. We got a few of few of those that like, god no, like 50 pence each or something crazy. Um, full art, evolutions, got to have a few of these. I absolutely love these, obviously. Got the Espeon, the uh, Glaceon. And then, yeah, a lot of these um, V and V Maxes from Eevee Heroes. I think, oh, they're going to be on our, um, they're going to be on our, um, on our eBay store. So click the link in the description, go to eBay and check out the, you know, the Eevee Heroes single cards. They're in our eBay store if you're interested. So we've got some more VMAXs. Um, yeah, because we had a bunch of Vs. I needed a few more VMAXs because I think we'd sold out of the Vs. So um, sold out of most of the VMAXs. So big thanks to Card Rush for those amazing things. And just a few more of these U Nagaba Pikachus. A lot cheaper, again, directly in Japan than if you're trying to buy them on eBay. Um, they gave out so many of them. They're, they're a bit harder to find now. A bit slight, The prices are going up slightly, but you can still get them for around 20 quid on eBay if you want. But um, yeah, the Sketch Pikachu, very iconic. Just that little happy, like, angry face. A shout out again to Caius Crimson on our Discord. It's one of his favourite cards. And uh, yeah, so we're going to see a few more of these. These are the Kyogre Amazing Rares. I've been picking up more of these because... Um, they just seem to be stupidly underrated, and in fact, I even told my Patreons, you know, underrated card of the of the week, or, you know, whatever we're running out now, Fortnite. Um, <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, just thought these, these just seem at, like, you know, $2 each or whatever. They just seem to be silly, stupidly underpriced, so gonna be gonna see a few more of, of those um coming up soon and also the in fact before we get into the japanese i'll show you what we've got here lovely people so this is the big purchase of the of the video um sometimes like on pokey pokey post we have like really big purchases and uh yeah this is the big one this is the um a lovely man on facebook was selling a whole bunch of amazing rares these are all the ink we're talking about the japanese amazing rares but they're you know the english amazing rares like let's try and get one of each we've got kyoga rayquaza um we've got rest around let's see if we can get them all together like you know we've got jirachi put jirachi there we've got Celebi. like what i loved is also he individually you know um top loaded and like penny sleeve each one of these cards so I'm going to try and get all of all like um, nine together and we'll see if we can get them on the screen at the same time. That'll be amazing. One, two, three, four. And now we just need your belt. There we go. And this will be one of the probably the first times. Like maybe you see someone's buying the collection. Okay. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Look, look at that, guys. All nine amazing rare cards um, on the screen at once. It's just absolutely beautiful. These are still quite affordable, especially the Shining Ledge, the Shining Fates ones. They obviously they had much, you know, much easier to pull them because it was a smaller main set. But um yeah this is every single amazing rare card like um what i love about these is that there's um they're one of each type apart from um no it's one of each type yeah every single typing got an amazing rare so you know lightning fire every single type got one and they actually fit perfectly on a nine page like binder together so you can have like all nine of them you know in a binder together they're just absolutely beautiful um and vivid voltage obviously most of them come from vivid voltage and you know Vivid Voltage had its reprint two months ago, and I can only imagine the prices are going to go up unless they randomly decide to like print Vivid Voltage again. But I don't know why they would, because people need playables from Evolving Skies and Chilling Rain and Sword and Shield base set a lot more than you know these. So this is just a whole 
bunch of amazing rares. A lovely man, you know, got a good price for all of them together. And I'm very happy that they're all individually top loaders as well and sleeved and top loaders. So more top loaders for shipping cards out to lovely people. And yeah, they all seem to be well centered as well, which most of them seem to be well centered. The Shining Legends one have a few more centering issues, but. For the most part, like, Shining Legends, Shining Fates, there's too many Fates and Legends and all sorts, but yeah. But yeah, very happy to see, um, very happy to see all those amazing rare cards. I'm going to put them over here, because there's, there's running out of space, and yeah, I think there's like, you know, 20, 30 or 40 of these, oh my goodness, there's a lot of them, so big shout out to that lovely guy on Facebook. I'm sorry, I can't remember everyone's name, there's a lot of things I've been purchasing. Mm. Please remember, if you're watching this video, stay hydrated, have a drink of water. Leave a comment below if you've just been hydrated. So, some more Japanese mail days. So, these were, again, more things that I purchased from directly from Japan um, using um, my middleman buying service and, um, you know, a few other places that I buy from Japan. Again, if you want to learn how to buy Pokemon cards directly from Japan or even how to grade directly with PSA, which is our newest video, um, check out my exclusive Patreon. There's a new video, like, every, every month, exclusive video every month or so. Obviously, we had a few issues with internet and stuff over the summer, but... Um, yeah, it's it's really, um, people have been really enjoying it. And we're nearly at 20 fully paid, like, monthly Patreons that get access to the exclusive content, which is great. So, another beautiful Dragonite V full art to go with that, um, to go with that uh, English one we had. I just love the Dragonite V um, full art. It's one of the nicest full arts. Dragonite's a popular character anyway, and I can see these just being, you know, very popular and desirable. I just, I just like looking at the card and seeing the card myself anyway, so never, never mind what other people think. I just like the card. <laughs> Um, yeah, so let's see what's in here. Oh, careful. Okay, that was a very risky thing to do. Has that destroyed? Okay, it might have might have damaged this, so that guy had packaged other cards inside, inside the Medicham. Hopefully the Medicham itself is okay. Um, we'll have to take a good look at it another time, but Medicham special art. I've been picking up a few more specials. I just love all the Pokemon. You've got Jumpluff. There's a Clo I didn't even notice there's Cloyster. There's more Medichams, plus all. Oh my goodness, you can see all sorts going on there. Hop it. It's just a beaut I just love these special art cards. Medicham's not the most popular of them, but I just love, you know, seeing the special art. And then the guy also provided, like, the, the sellers also provided, like, some nice, some more cards to go with it. So thank you to that, to that, to that lovely person. Um, um, I think this will just be more um, Kyogres, so put those to the side for now. Um, okay, I don't remember buying another Dragonite, guys, but I think there's actually another... Dragonite V full art in here, so <laughs> yeah, so with the um, PSA, I'll just talk about the PSA video, so you know how to grade your cards with PSA, you'll be like, oh Stephen, but isn't PSA closed at the moment? Well, technically no, you can use the Express tier to, you know, pay $150, um, which I did for some of the, for the, some of the cards in the video, to, you know, get cards back a lot quicker, but um, the, the, the value in bulk, you know, economy value tiers are currently um, closed, yes, but then if you you know, ha have the video, you get your account sorted, you can actually, you know, get ready for when PSA does reopen. So yeah, we've got two Dragonite V full arts. Oh my goodness, oh, beautiful cards. But yeah, so um, lots of, been very, it's been a good reception from the, from those videos so far. Right, so what's in here? So this was the, um, the V, like the V starter decks, I think. Like, I love the artwork on this, just the box. It's just obviously the uh, packaging that they use to keep, keep whatever's inside here safe. Come on, Oop. Keep them accidentally damaging the camera as well. What's inside here? Oh my goodness. They've really gone Fort Knox on this. Oh my goodness. It was worth it, guys. It was worth it. It's the Dragonite V special art. Oh my goodness. That is just cool. That is just a gorgeous car. Just look at that. Um, again, I'm not going to be, you know, getting it out of the top loader now because um, it's taped and it's top loaded. But look at that. That's what you want to see from Japanese mailing. You want to see good protection. But. Yeah, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And um, we've got Dragonite Slave, we've got some Spearows and Feroes there, just chilling with them. Yeah, you know, I'll, when I first saw the digital image of this car, I was like, oh, Dragonite's, you know, got his eyes closed. It's not like, you know, in your face, kind of like Dragonite kind of look, you know, it's kind of a bit more subtle, but seeing the card in, re in real life just made me, you know, love, love the Dragonite V um, special art a lot more. And I think it's right up there with the, in terms of the, you know, from those sets, it's right up there with the... Um, the Neuvern special art that you can see in the background. Uh, last but not least, before we get to the booster packs, um, it's just a few more of these beautiful Unigova Pikachus. Because, just because, why not? Um, again, I don't think they're going to get any cheaper than they are now, so I, I, I thought I'd just pick some more of these up. 
I'm going to get some graded, maybe sell some on my eBay store in the future. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, more Unigaba Pikachus. And uh, that looks like that's all of the posts. So now we can see what's in these um, free booster packs. So I'm going to finish with the Evolving Skies and we'll start with the Sword and Shield. So if you saw, make sure you click the link and go to um, yesterday's post, uh, yesterday's video where we opened the tins. Um, the reason that there's no Chilling Rain booster pack as well is because the... The tin, one of the tins actually was missing a booster pack. And I was like, what? It was, so it's technically like an error tin in a way. Um, if you can call it an error tin, I guess. Like, there should be four packs in there. But it was only, um, it was only, um, uh, three. It was only three tins. But, um, yeah. So Cinderace and Metal Saucer. Not too bad, but we want to see a WTF Epic pool to finish off. Please also remember to leave a comment below. Oh, you can see the white code sticking out, like sticking out at the top there. You don't see that very often. Oh, and I think I see a glimmer of shiny. What's it going to be from Battle Stars? We want to see that that um, Tyranitar V special art. Let's go. Yeah, please leave a comment below. You know, what's been your favourite card from this week's Poke Post? Have you received anything epic in the mail recently? I'd love to know what you're up to and what, you know, what, what kind of epic cards you're getting. Solander, Fromantis, and oh, that's what you want to see. That's a Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max. That's the strongest card from Battle Styles. Um, the most, one of the you know strongest strongest decks at the moment. Um, very happy to see the Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max. I think this is like in the UK. This is like fifteen dollars, ten pounds plus, like at the moment. Very popular. We are going to be getting a Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max League Battle deck soon, so that might bring the price down a little bit. But for the moment, that's probably the best like regular V Max you can pull um, from Battle Styles. So yeah, that, that's a that's a really good one for me to to get. So then whatever I'm getting from this um, Evolving Skies pack will just be a nice little bonus. So yeah, please leave a comment below. Um, how's your you know pack luck been recently? Have you seen any? Have you had any epic pulls? Yeah, all that good stuff. Please also watch um, yesterday's tin opening video. Click the link above. And uh, oh, <laughs> wow! Do you know I've not pulled this one yet. This is the like and rock V full art. I don't know. I don't think ever anyone's seen the the like and rock V full art. Oh my goodness, what a way to finish. That's apps. You know that's actually quite beautiful. I really like that. Again, shame about the centering. As you can see, it's slightly thicker on the left side than it is on the on the um, right side. But look at that. Look at how the light catches it. You know, like a ghost dog in a way. Wow, that is beautiful. So, yeah, very happy with that um, final pull. But, uh, yes, this week's Pokey Pose was absolutely insane. To be honest, I, I think my personal favourite has to be the um, the Mitsuhiro Rita Special Art Neuvern V. It's not the most valuable card in this video, but it's definitely my favourite. <laughs> Please leave a comment below, um, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Go to Catchable. A huge thank you to all our lovely patrons. They get exclusive videos, market updates, Q&As with me, and much more besides. Click the link below to join the Place Get Games Patreon, and I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Go to Catchable.